Hey guys, welcome back to Angry Owl Aquariums. It's Joey here. Today, uh, we're gonna change out the lighting. It's time, time for a change. Uh, I need to get rid of these SB Reef bars um, and then swap over to uh, some more LED lighting. Moving like the speed or So the plan here, this is an eight bulb T5 ATI fixture. I'm gonna take out these four bulbs in the center and I'm gonna put uh, a bracket there so I can mount some AI Hydras, uh, the 52s, and I'm gonna have a 64 in the center. Then I'm gonna take off the SB reef bars. And that's basically the project. So let's go ahead and get started.
Okay guys, here it is. Here is the modified ATI T5 fixture to become a hybrid. You can see I have the two Hydra 52s right there. We're missing the one in the center. Gotta order that. That will be a Hydra 64. So uh, no big deal there. You can see right now the uh, T5s are on as well. So there's gonna be four T5 bulbs in there. They're all the Giesemann um, Atenic uh, true Atenics or Atenic Blues, whatever they are. I think they're Atenic Blues. So those are on right now. Here's the tank color. I'm using different filters. So uh, before I would use a mixture of, uh, this is the Polyp Lab filter, and this would be the Focus, Focus. This is a 20, this is a 20K. So I don't know what color that is, like green-ish. I mean, you can see it adds like way more pop if you put both of them on, but it's not as realistic to the color that I'm seeing. This gets pretty close. This is just the orange filter. Um, I haven't played around with the settings yet to go ahead and make it like a video setting or a picture setting. Right now, I went ahead and just put them on a schedule for the AB Plus schedule, uh, the Mimic, right, that BRS created. And then they're also on an acclimation mode. I reduced them by 40% to start. So they'll slowly start cranking up uh, over the next three weeks. I measured par briefly. Um, so I'll just kind of stand back here because this is maybe easiest. Uh, so this one, PC Rainbow, that's getting about 800 to 850 par. Uh, then we have, uh, then the other ones here, this is about um, 700, the Walt Disney's getting 650, 700 ish. Um, one thing on this structure here underneath is you can kind of see the, the shadow that it creates. So the beam coming down here. And by the way, these are 10 inches mounted off. So the bottom of the hybrid, or sorry, the AI Hydra uh, is 10 inches off the surface, which is really about 11 because I measured it from the, from the screen to the top of the light. But you can see it kind of makes a shadow. The new one will, will come down, right? And it will kind of fill in that gap. But I think what I'm gonna do uh, is actually just push over this scape just a little bit, uh, no big deal. Uh, I won't really change too much of the aesthetics. And I'm planning on kind of redoing this whole crap anyways. This is, this is kind of just garbage to me. And I don't like how high this is. There's no reason for my rock work to be that high and it makes a poor viewing experience. But overall, that's what I'm running on the lights. I have them starting at 10 a.m. Uh, they're kicking on. Uh, then they slowly ramp up for an hour to their full schedule. Full schedule goes all the way till 9 p.m. Uh, and then ramps down uh, and cuts off completely at 10 p.m. The T5s kick on from 2.30 to 6.30. So there's four hour peak period uh, with the T5s to give that maximum spread. Overall for the fixture, um, you know, it was pretty simple. It took me a while to actually get the design right. I was gonna go a different route with some angled, angled aluminum. Uh, that was gonna be too much of a pain. And retrospectively now, if I would have done that, um, I would not have been able to actually screw in the mount uh, or anything like that. So this is the best way, reusing stuff that I already had. Uh, and now I have to return a bunch of stuff because I listened to some idiots that I shouldn't be listening to. So life lesson, uh, don't listen to anyone but yourself because you're always right. I'm not sure what else to say about this. I mean, uh, you guys saw the progression of, of me putting it there. Um, the one, <laughs> the one hole in the middle actually took me like three attempts to, to get, uh, to mount that to, but I mean, it's overall, it's really simple. Uh, the fixture is a lot quieter now because I'm not running the a ATI fans on that fixture anymore. And I obviously didn't put back the piece of acrylic that, that covers it. So I'll just have to keep an eye on that. If there's any salt creep, I'll have to, you know, make sure I wipe them off, uh, but much much more quiet. Overall, I really like the look. It's been, um, 
about a day since I've uh, put this on. Uh, and then also I'm filming two videos in the same day. So I just finished up talking about my, my sand and going uh, naked on the bottom. Uh, so with that change and also the change of the lighting, um, I haven't experienced any coral loss yet. That's not to say it won't happen. Uh, don't worry about that one. He was already dead. Uh, the only thing that's not happy, uh, as I've mentioned, I don't know, in this video or the other one that I just made or both, uh, this guy's not too happy, but that happened as a result of the blackout. Maybe it'll come back. Maybe it won't. Um, but we'll see. I don't really care either way what it does. But yeah, guys, um, that is... All the update this is how you make a hybrid fixture out of your ATI T5 fixture if you're interested in doing that save yourself some money I mean you're gonna have to buy a new fixture if you don't so you might as well just modify this it's really easy to do um, there's a couple of different options a couple different ways you could do it I'll have to wait a little while before I could actually do a review on the lights and give you a, a more detailed approach but at least an approach but a more detailed uh, review, if you will, on, on these lights. And we'll just see how the tank continues to progress now that we've made some major changes to it. Still have to add the one fixture, and then I will also be making some major changes to uh, the flow and, as I alluded to, uh, some of the rock work. So with that said, head over to uh, Ketuan Reefer. Go ahead, hit the unsub button on him and drop a comment that says, um, I don't know, something, something bad, put something vulgar in his comment section, and then head back over here to my channel, hit the sub button, and hit the thumbs down, because why not? And I will catch you guys in the next one.